Hello my friends and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 GMO run. We are going to once again do one of the custom made achievements for the GMO mod uh, with suggested combinations that unlock cool items because these characters interact really interestingly together. If you're not familiar with the mod, of course the GMO mod lets you mash together two characters and get the stats from both and the mod creator has included some suggestions for combinations alongside achievements for winning them so i've just been going through them in order and we're going to do the next one here we have the old and the explorer which i think is going to be really funny so old reduces map size and explorer increases map size i don't know how that is going to interact exactly um, but we're going to have so many trees in such a small area that i think this game is going to be just pure nonsense. For that reason, I think I'm going to go with an engineering build because I like engineering builds on the old already. And I think that given how many trees we're going to have on the field, Pocket Factory is going to be really good. So let's give that a try. Th this might not be the, the best way to do this combo, but I think that engineering builds are super satisfying regardless. So I'm just very happy to give that a go. We, of course, have only the one turret running right now. On the on the Explorer, you really want to run around looking for trees. So it looks like we have a map that's um, basically standard size, maybe a little bigger than the standard map is how this interacts. Uh, I was sort of hoping to get the very small map from the old, but it looks like we're playing a sort of shrunk map with the Explorer. Our speed is standard because the Explorer has a speed boost and the old has a speed reduction and our damage is very low. So we will need to deal with that. We also get a bunch of harvesting from being the old, which is awesome. So hopefully we can make that work. And I will be boosting luck and harvesting as much as possible. I'm going to try to get my harvesting to 21, and then we'll start boosting luck. Um, just to make that as powerful as we can. I'll pick up a wrench here. We're just going to go for more turrets, I think. And then dynamite is pretty good on turret builds in general. But I think it's too early to pick it up right now. I'm going to roll for more important items. I will definitely lock the tree. Weird Ghost is a good way to get HP, but I think we are going to roll again. And I'll pick up a wrench. Cute Monkey is another good way to heal, but I, I really just want to roll for a wrench. But I will... Uh, I'm considering locking the Baby Elephant. I think I'm going to leave this slot open to find more economy items, though. Basically, I just want my my economy to come online as quickly as possible. With our damage penalty, we're kind of mitigating that because we're playing an engineering build, but our turrets are going to be so spread out, especially before we find Pocket Factory, which hopefully we do, that we're going to have a little bit of trouble defending ourselves, but we will be able to mitigate that by adding in some additional um, health regeneration, consumable healing from the high number of trees that we have, and so on. I'm going to recycle the Terrified Onion here. We're going to be breaking trees constantly, so I really don't want to lose luck. Even though movement speed is very important on this character, uh, losing luck is going to be a real downside for this build because there will be so many trees on the map, and we definitely want to make sure that we are constantly breaking those for maximum value. Let's roll here for harvesting. All right, so we've hit 22 harvesting. Now I'm going to roll for luck. If we can find that. I will actually roll once more. We have plenty of money in the early game. So I'd like to get our stats to where we want them as soon as possible. Is it worth rolling another time to try to get luck? That would mean I'm spending quite a lot of money trying to find luck. I could also just take HP regeneration. This is such a bad chop for us though. That I think I will roll one more time. To try to find more luck or harvesting. And we did. Which is great. Oh, so here's the weapon that we got for unlocking the... The previous combination, the Lucky and the um, the Artificer. This gives us an explosive projectile that fires, I guess, two projectiles. That's kind of cool. I'll probably try to do a build using that weapon at some point, but we're not going to switch paths now. Let's roll and roll again. I'm just looking for more wrenches, and we got one. Do I want the head injury? Percent damage is still okay on this character, even though we're primarily an engineering build, but I think I'm going to pass on that and just save my money. Basically just want to break trees as much as possible. We got, we, we have Lumberjack shirt already because we're the explorer, so these turrets will break trees for us as well. 
which is definitely great. I'm going to want to pick up uh, baby geckos or anything like that that I can find. Those two trees will just get broken by the turret, so I don't need to run over and hit them myself. Would love to get more luck. That's the main thing that we're missing. We'll definitely take this. Just some HP. Elemental damage at the cost of dodge is somewhat interesting. There's a chance that we end up in an elemental build if I find a scared sausage. Since we're going to be um, putting a ton of turrets on the map, those can apply the fire. So I think I will take Toxic Sludge. It cost me 2% dodge, and we will want dodge eventually. But this is sort of a speculative pick in case we find just any elemental damage that we want. I'm actually not going to take the level 2 regeneration. I'm just going to take more luck, because the more crates we drop from trees, the better. And then let's roll again, and I will lock Scar. I'll pick up the coffee. Baby elephant, I think I'm actually going to pass on again. I do need to increase my engineering a little bit. Coffee we're grabbing both because it helps a lot with our actual wrench attacks and also because if we find improved tools later on, that will make our all of our turrets much better. One other advantage of boosting our luck as we are doing is that we will have a higher chance of rolling Pocket Factory because it's a level 2 item. I want to make sure I hit all these trees before the end of the wave. Alright, and so now I'm taking Scared Sausage. This will just add a little bit of damage to every one of our weapon, or every one of our turret attacks, which is great. Bat, I'm going to pass on. I don't want to reduce my harvesting, and we don't care about lifesteal at all. Baby with a beard, on the other hand, maybe could be interesting. So we could get lifesteal. We could build some range damage to make this work, and it will also help break trees for us. So I'm going to take it. It only is worth 40. I think that it's possible this won't work out, but this is just a fun way to add some additional chaos to the level as well. And then bag is the best thing we you can find. On Explorer, always you want bags. I mean, you saw we got four crates in this wave, so bag is going to pay for itself many, many times over. I'm just going to take the max HP here. No, I'm going to roll. I think we can find luck or harvesting, something like that. Yeah, I'll take 10 luck. And then we will take another bag, we will take Scar, and I'm going to lock the lure. I'm going to wait on the lure because I wanted to get the bag and the Scar first. Lure will be just as good next level. And also because it's very possible that we actually won't have the damage to kill the lure aliens until I have leveled up a couple of my wrenches. Speaking of which, I'm going to roll to try to finally lock some more wrenches. Because right now we're still stuck on five items. Five weapons. Piercing shots for our turrets would be excellent. Other than that, the main things that I'm looking for are obviously the key items, more bags, more pocket factory, of course, um, improved tools, that kind of thing. But mostly I just want defensive stats at this point. We are doing fairly well on offensive stats just because we have a lot of turrets on the field at the moment, so our wave clear is fine. And this character doesn't care that much about wave clear, you just want to be breaking trees. Note how much money we got from our two bags. This is The bags have already been worth 90, so um, that's what, like a third of our income this wave is just from bags. That's why bag is so critical on Explorer. I will, I think, spend two luck on three regeneration. We're going to need to start building that up eventually. So even though luck is really important, I think mushroom is fine when it's free. And then I'm going to take the glasses just because we might find a fairy. And not that we can so we don't care about the range at all. But if we find fairy, it'll be worth one regeneration. And I think that's worth spending 11 on. At this point, I don't think we really need more harvesting. We're already really well set up for our economy, so I'm just going to start building defensive stats. We'll get some dodge and armor, and then we're much less likely to die. Pick our wrench, take our lure, grab adrenaline, and now I'm starting to build dodge reasonably well. And then this is great, we can upgrade a wrench. I am also going to now buy the baby elephant now that we have a bunch of luck. And as I increase my percent damage, the baby elephant will start going off. 
I didn't want to spend money on it earlier because it just wouldn't have really helped with our wave clear, but I think at this point it's definitely worth investing in. You see our uh, Inferno turret over there just missing constantly. <laughs> The enemies have additional move speed because of the explorer, so I think that combines the the two uh, move speed increases slash decreases. Okay, I want to push this loot alien into the turrets if I can. Try to kill these. Unfortunately, they're not getting hit, so I'm only going to get one of the lure aliens, which definitely is unfortunate, but we did at least get one crate. I take the tree here. I guess because it's a level 3 upgrade, I'll take the harvesting. Upgrade our wrenches again, and buy baby elephant. And I am actually going to continue to build elemental damage, I think, because we have the scared sausage, and that's just going to be a lot of damage. At this point, also, I'm going to take another scar. We have... Uh, it's very early in the game. We have a gentle alien already, so scar is going to be pretty good for us. And we'll take a metal here as well. And go to the next wave. Still hoping for Pocket Factory, of course. So because I now have Baby Elephant, I have the Scared Sausage and other things that actually scale off percent damage. Engineering weapons don't scale off percent damage. Um, we are giving up one of the advantages that going engineering has for this character, which is not caring about the percent damage penalty. But I think that that's worth it because we're getting just a lot more wave clear from that. I'm just ignoring all the enemies, basically letting my turrets clear them out while I run around and break trees. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Rip headphone users. <laughs> And we're just making all of our money off of bags. I'm going to recycle Alien Worm. Our healing is still mostly coming from consumable healing, so very important not to take that. We already have a glasses, so we'll recycle it. Metal detector is going to be great. Bonus engineering is really important, because we actually have found very little I increased engineering. And this will still be worth some money. And then Insanity, I think I will pass on. We have a lot of percent dam things that care about percent damage and our actual critical hits from our weapons are just not going to be that valuable so while this is normally a pretty efficient item i don't think it's good for us here i could take some max hp or armor or roll for better stats but honestly i think just some maximum hp is going to be really nice and then here i'm definitely taking speed i could take engineering as well but our move speed is going to be a real boost to us if we can get that going We'll take a book. Engineering still very important. We'll take armor and we'll take move speed and then we will roll and then I will upgrade a wrench but I think what I'm going to do is get a laser wrench. Although the map is big enough that maybe we won't stack three fire turrets. The fire turret damage doesn't stack with itself so you don't want too many fire turrets on the field at once. If they spawn together they're just going to waste their damage. So I'm considering combining the wrench the level 2 wrenches to a level 3 wrench and getting another level 1 or getting 3 level 2s. I think on this size of map, 3 level 2s is fine. I'll also take a lure. Even though we're unlikely to be able to kill both loot aliens, I think it's still good to, to grab. Obviously, the regeneration is good as well. And if we get even one crate, it's going to be awesome. And then I will do a reroll here just because I want to see if I can find any important items and the reroll was cheap and we'll take another scared sausage that just adds quite a lot of damage to our build the little frog i'm going to skip even though pickup range is pretty good for this build and harvesting of course is fine i would like to increase my dodge as much as possible as early as possible so i i'm not gonna i'm going to try to avoid taking things that decrease our dodge all right let's try to push this loot alien into the Inferno turrets, trying to use the knockback of my wrenches in our favor, because that will increase the damage that it's taking. Have to break some trees over here, though. <laughs> we, do, we don't have much actual damage ourselves, so I really have to rely on the turrets to kill the loot aliens, but that means trying to push them into the 
turret attacks, which unfortunately we are not having much luck with. So the lure is not going to work out in terms of actual, um, actually getting me a loot alien kill, but it at least was worth buying for the regen anyways, and I think maybe we got one crate? It's hard to say. I'll take the schmoop here, obviously. This is going to be an excellent defensive item for us. And explosion size will be really nice if we find landmines just as an item, or if we get to level 4 turrets, the explosion size will be very valuable. Losing percent damage is slightly painful, but we do actually have stuff that cares about our range damage, and attack speed is very good. And then I'll take this as well. I will recycle the sunglasses. We're still not building crit chance, and the armor is going to be important. And then here I'll just take the level 3 get more luck to get more um, crates, because luck is very important, and we'll take the Scared Sausage, the Incendiary Turret, and the Blindfold, and then roll. I'm not going to buy the small magazine. Do I want the Fuel Tank? With minus 50% damage, our Scared Sausage damage is not going to be that high, even if I buy the Fuel Tank, so I think I'd rather try to roll for Engineering and other things that will help our actual attacks more. Let's go to a level 3 turret and buy another wrench. One more reroll here and we will take the beanie. I think I will take boiling water because we don't care that much about losing 1 HP and the elemental damage is still good. This would be an ideal strange book build so, so we will keep an eye out for strange book. Strange book users rejoice in the chat in the comments. We are going to try to pull all these enemies through the middle of the map here where all my turrets have spawned. I really wish I'd found Pocket Factory. I might need to just... We're going to get a lot of money this uh, wave, hopefully, so... I might need to just roll very aggressively for Pocket Factory. Increasing our percent damage would also be very valuable because... Our scared sausages are a big portion of our damage, especially combined with, like, Baby with a Beard can light things on fire, all our turrets can light things on fire. Um, so all of that is very valuable to get as well. Not as much income from this wave as I was hoping, but still obviously a lot. We'll take a medical turret, that can help keep us alive. Plant is going to be great, and duct tape is perfect for this build. Do I want 3 elemental damage, 5 luck, or 3 engineering? I think I'd better take the engineering, actually, just because our engineering weapons are starting to fall pretty far behind. And then here, I'm going to reroll, and we'll just take 3 more engineering. This way, our, our damage is going to start keeping up a little better. This is a great shop for us. I will buy all of it. We can get quite a lot of value from the percent damage, because it's so low right now that any increase to it is extremely valuable. And then the incendiary turret is good for obvious reasons, and a level 3 wrench. Do I want to go to a level 4 wrench, or two level 3 wrenches? The level 4 wrench has the bonus explosion size, so can be very valuable for wave clear in that sense. So I think I am actually going to go for a level 4 wrench, and that will help hopefully help clear a lot of a lot more enemies than we would get otherwise. I will take the bait here and lock the lure. I, I would like to get both. I don't want to take bait on the elite wave, and lure is probably not worth grabbing on the, or is harder to kill on the elite wave as well. But I think I'll start with the bait and buy the helmet, and we'll just accept that we probably won't get more than one loot alien again, but that's fine. This is just the struggle of engineering builds, is your single target damage is always going to be really low, so you have a hard time killing specific enemies, like loot aliens. With our move speed being pretty high, we can outpace these bait aliens, and we just got a little bit of percent damage, which is helping our burning damage. Still hoping for a couple uniques, Scared Sausage, or not Scared Sausage, uh, Strange Book, Pocket Factory, improved tools. This is one of the things that makes this kind of build somewhat difficult, is that you rely so heavily on certain specific items, or I guess not rely, but your run gets powered up so much by certain specific items. Scared Sausage, uh, <laughs> I keep saying Scared Sausage, um, 
pocket factory, improved tools, and bag are all so critical for Explorer that you can often run into trouble if you don't find them, and so you have to roll quite aggressively to find those items. Since we found two bags on this version of the build, we're fine. It does it. We're not in any danger, but those items are so important that it's worth rolling for them always. I'll take the scope here. That increases my damage a little bit, I think. And then there's our third bag. We've already made 570 off of the two bags we have already. And then acid, I would like to increase our dodge, but acid is still worth taking here. We'll take luck. Even this late in the game, luck is really good. Bandana is excellent. That makes our level four wrench more than twice as good because the explosions will overlap on each other, doing a massive amount of additional damage, even to single targets. And then we'll take the turret and the lure and roll. Do I want wheelbarrow at this point? I guess I do, and I don't want fuel tank. I'm gonna roll again. We'll lock cake and blindfold, and I'm still in the pocket factory waiting room. Let's see, so our damage to the elite is not high enough to kill it, so I'm just gonna try to avoid it. making sure to break trees. The lure, I have no idea if we're going to be able to kill any of the loot aliens, but I will try to push them into our turrets at least. Oh, try not to die to the elite while I'm doing that. The elite is of course absorbing a lot of our damage, but I think maybe we can still get one loot alien if I can pull it towards the incendiary turrets and the explosive turrets. Yeah, we got one. Don't think we got the second one. I can't really see where it's going because the Elite is covering so much of the screen. I think actually we got both, so that worked out really well. Plus we made a thousand materials this way <laughs> because of all of our bags. <laughs> I mean, look at this nonsense. Um, now I'll take the crit chance because um, it can just be an additional source of damage from our weapons. And then sure, Tardigrade. Uh, sure, Energy Bracelet. Elemental damage is more important than range, so I will still take it. We'll recycle that. I will take this. I'll take this. I will take this. I'll take this. All right, well, as you can see, things are going pretty well over here, and then I'll take a, so just some more luck. Blindfold and cake. I think I'm going to pass on the small magazine here, but I will very happily roll into a level 4 wrench. That's awesome. Yes, and we will take bait do I want to cap my move speed? Move speed of 12 is a little low for where, where I would like it to be uh, on this character, but I think that that's fine. 8 engineering and 8 HP regen is so good for us that I, I don't think we can afford to pass that. And then I will roll, and let's buy Weird Ghost. We have plenty of regeneration, and we could use some more HP, although it does ruin our perfect total. Um, and we'll lock the injection as well. But obviously we're going to get so much health from... Oh, I did almost die there because I uh, walked into the bait alien. Um, but we had the tardigrade. But because I had tardigrade and um, we have so much health from consumables and medical turret and stuff, even when we have bait, it is very safe to buy weird ghosts there. We probably would not have done that if we didn't have the tardigrade, but with it. It's just so safe. I mean, we have tons of regen, we have tardigrade. And of course, we're guaranteed a bunch of consumables. On Explorer, the way that trees spawn is different from on other characters. You'll always get three trees that spawn near your character at the start of the wave. Um, so you're, you're just guaranteed to have at least three consumables right at the beginning of the wave. This character can always buy pocket fact, or always buy weird ghosts safely. Piggy bank is still going to be good for us when we get it for free like this. And then I'm going to recycle the fin because we're speed capped. Broken mouth, of course, is great. And Tyler is just more damage from our engineering. 20 luck is awesome. I will take that for sure. And then I will grab this. We don't need a scar or anything like that. Let's reroll. We can upgrade our wrench. We can reroll. We can buy another incendiary turret and a cyclops worm. 
and roll, and we are continuing to find good items for us, but not the exact items that I want. That said, very happy with this, and in fact, I think I'm going to lock this entire shop. Melee damage is still fine for us, because our wrenches do attack, and max HP is good. Um, and eye surgery is very good with all the scared sausages and incendiary turrets that we have. This run brought to you by Bag, of course. Best item in the game. <laughs> always has been, always will be. And the fact that we found three of them is ridiculous. Any explorer build that finds even one bag is going to take off, and when you find more than one bag, you just get so much money. Alright, so this, yeah, keeping it pinned here in between the explosive turret and the Tyler is going to be the fastest way to kill that loot alien. And all I have to do to cruise to victory in this run at this point, uh, I don't think we're going to have time to kill that one, is um, just buy enough defensive stats so that I don't die. Landmines is good. Dangerous bunny, yes. Cyclops worm, yes. Garden, yes. And ten more luck. We will take the tractor. Right, I'm buying everything in this shop. I guess I would rather have more explosive turrets, especially because we're going into a horde wave. Then I get two free rerolls, so let's lock the wrench and roll again. Take another baby elephant and go to the next wave. Still no Pocket Factory, still no Strange Book. Whenever I'm, I'm like looking for a specific item like this, I'm always so paranoid that I've rolled past it. But if I do roll past it, um, it would be very funny, so I'll, I'll just say I did it for content. The great thing about recording my runs for, for YouTube is whenever I make mistakes, you know, if I was just doing it in the privacy of my own home, then I'd just have to live with it. But if I make a mistake in public, I can always say I was doing it just to get people to comment, make the extra dollar from ad revenue. We are clearing a lot of enemies and <laughs> yeah, just made 300 materials at the end of the wave there. Um, capping max HP, I think is fine. 83 max HP should be plenty. I'll take that. Definitely taking a jetpack, even though we don't need the move speed. The dodge is really good. Um, I will need to increase my max HP again, but that's fine. We'll recycle. Snail lowers my move speed, which is fine because we're way over cap and decreases enemy speed. Tyler is great. And then I think just more luck is all we care about. I will take the wrench here. So let's combine and buy a wrench and baby elephant. Fertilizer is going to take five times, which is worth 40. Um, so that has a decent chance of giving me an extra level if we take it. Basically, we're, we're loaning out this money. Because um, we'll get almost all the money back, because it'll give me 40 materials by itself, plus help my harvesting to grow a little. And it's also worth XP, so this is basically getting the potential for another level by buying this. And then we'll buy that, and roll, and roll again. Nothing here that I want. I think I'm going to just roll at this point. I'm looking... I really want to hit a pocket factory or anything along those lines, but I'll take a book and a cyberball. And another Cyberball, as well as an Injection. Almost at 0% damage, which will help a lot with our Cyberballs, our baby elephants, and so on. I'm just going to roll a lot in the shops to try to hit the key items that we want. Because honestly, we're, we're totally well set up to win the game um, at this point. Just having... We're so far ahead on economy because we have had three bags on Explorer the entire game, so we're... I don't know, we have probably three or four thousand more materials than a typical build would have at this point.
Because not only are we getting a lot of money from the actual bags, we're also just getting tons of materials worth of items from the crates. Uh, sure, we'll take that, we'll take this, we'll take this, we'll recycle this, we will grab this. Uh, engineering, yes. And I will... I don't really need to buy max HP, we'll just find that as we go, I think. Uh, sure, more luck. Let's get engineering and cyberball and roll. And warrior helmet is good for armor, which is actually fairly low for me right now, so I'll pick that up. And roll again. Cute monkey is really nice as well. We can get some additional healing, which is something that we are missing a little bit of, is just uh, ways to restore HP, so cute monkey will help a lot with that. We can continue to upgrade our wrenches. Lock a sad tomato, because that's going to help with our regeneration. And do I want the alien eyes? It wouldn't be bad for this build, but I think we want to find specific items so much that I'm going to roll past any items that aren't really good for us, because this build will get powered up so much by the various unique items that I have been talking about non-stop all game. Now at the point where my turrets are just clearing things before I can even hit them with my wrenches. Not that hitting them with the wrenches is a lot of damage, but we have enough turrets and mines on the field combined with our burning damage and our scared sausage damage that enemies are dying very quickly, so our, our wave clear is actually starting to, to keep up with the wave, something we were struggling with a little bit before. That's always fine on Explorer. You don't care about clearing the wave. You care about clearing the trees. So the fact that we're doing both means we're getting just even more money. Although relatively low number of crates from this wave, only four. I'm going to recycle the alien baby here. We'll take the insanity. Peaceful bee. Yeah, I do want to increase my dodge. And cute monkey gives me some extra healing, and we will continue to take more regeneration here. Rip and tear is kind of interesting. We have the explosion size, and our melee damage isn't that high, but it will help chain together kills across the map, so I think I will actually grab that. Now it's too late to buy fertilizer. Recycling machine, on the other hand, will probably still pay for itself. And then let's upgrade our wrenches to even higher level buy plant and coffee and go to the next wave. We almost certainly don't have the single target DPS to kill the elite, but I'll try to pull it through my turrets just to see. But looks like no. That's just how engineering builds work. Even when they're going insanely well, you're not going to kill most elites most of the time. It's possible if we had Pocket Factory that we would kill the Elite, just because the amount of additional damage from turrets would be so high. This Elite also doesn't really sit in one spot to get hit by turret fire over and over again, so it's harder to kill this Elite than others with engineering builds. But in general, that's not the goal anyways. We're just here to kill trees. Deforestation is our watchword on the Explorer. Very curious how the Rip and Tear is performing. I'll take the Lure here. Sharp Bullet, it's great, just more piercing. And Landmines, of course. Small Magazine, I will usually take when it's given to us in a crate. But I think I'm going to recycle it here, actually. We still don't have improved tools, so the attack speed boost is not that important. And 117 is a lot to help look for the items that we really need. Take some dodge here, just so that we don't die, and then upgrade a wrench. Baby Gecko is probably still good to grab at this point. Extra Stomach, I'm not going to take because we are HP capped, so there's no point in grabbing that. Metal, sure. Roll again. Medical Turret, Repost, Head Injury. We'll take the Head Injury. I'm going to skip the other two. I'll take... Dynamite, and I will spend 50 on rolling one more time so that we can lock this wrench and buy the coffee. Campfire cost me two speed, but we're well over speed cap, so I'll, I'll just buy that anyways.
always enjoy these late game engineering builds where there's just so much chaos on the map. Having found um, Baby with a Beard especially, we're just constantly chaining shots from enemy to enemy. I will say it's very rude of the game to have not given me any of the items that we are specifically looking for yet. <laughs> Other than three bags. As I have said in the past, if you want to win Rotato, um, just find three bags. It's really not that hard. Game's easy, as it turns out. <laughs> Look at the number of crates we've got. Oh, hey, we've dealt leet damage with the rip and tear. Um, well, we aren't going to be able to keep the perfect number of rip and tear damage anyways, so we'll take that. We'll take this. I will take this just for... Melee damage, I guess. Med kit's great. It's going to make sure that we don't die. Tentacle. I don't think we care about that much. So I'm going to recycle it. And then I will recycle the insanity as well. No, I'll take that. It does increase our damage. Glass cannon's good for our burning damage. And there we go. We finally did it. All right. We've, we've got one of the trifecta of items that we need. And then we'll grab this. And we will take some armor. All right, well, now that we have Pocket Factory, our wave clear is going to go up massively. So very happy about that, of course, even if it's only in wave 19. And then we will take the glass cannon. But that means that we potentially have a chance to kill the bosses. Because that, that will be a lot of additional damage. I'll buy the eye surgery and roll again. Cyberball or Leather Vest? I guess I'll buy Leather Vest here. Lock the Cyberball. Um, no, I'm not going to lock the Cyberball. We don't need that for damage against the bosses. I think just buying defensive items is most important, so I don't just randomly die. So I'm going to pick that kind of thing up. Pumpkin I'll pass on. We won't need that for the bosses either. Really, the only things that we care about going into the boss waves are going to be um, bonus engineering and defensive stats. Because I think with the Pocket Factory, which will increase our damage on the map significantly, there's a chance that we can actually kill the bosses. You can see, like, we have these huge clusters of turrets right in the middle here. Because the great thing about Pocket Factory 2 is that as you kill trees and those trees spawn turrets, those turrets kill more trees. So you, you end up just growing your damage across the map. And then in combination with our Scared Sausage damage, or Rip and Tear, Baby with a Beard, all the additional da sources of damage that we have, we should be able to put a lot of DPS on the bosses, hopefully. Only five crates this wave, though, but we'll take some regeneration, we'll take some armor, we will... Not take wings, because we are well over speed cap anyways. So uh, Spicy sauce could actually help us kill the bosses, so I'll grab that. I will take the gambling token just to get to dodge cap. And then here I'm going to take five engineering, because that might help us kill the bosses. Fairy means we probably won't die, so I'll grab that. Now we have 93 health regeneration. A laser turret. A... Another wrench, I think. Is the laser turret going to be better? Or another explosive turret? Um, it's a good question. I think that the two laser turrets will actually be better than the wrench and the other explosive turret. And then glass cannon will help reasonably well. Roll again. Roll again. And... Sure, I'll take Claw Tree. I think that could help us kill stuff. And Cute Monkey isn't going to be that important. So I'm hoping that we have the damage to kill the bosses here. I guess we will see. But so far, we have made an absurd amount, done an absurd amount of damage with everything. Uh, and our stats are really quite wild. This is some of the highest stats I've ever seen. Alright, so I do want to actually hit the bosses with my weapons, but more important than that is to pull them into the fields of some of the higher damage turrets. So I want to make sure they're always they're getting hit by at least one incendiary turret. I want to make sure that the laser turrets and the explosive turrets are targeting them, because that's where all of our damage comes from. So now I kind of want to pull them over to this 
a group of pocket factory turrets, because so many trees spawned over here, that's going to be a lot of extra DPS going into them. One of them is below half, and we've got 50 seconds remaining, and our damage is going to go up as the wave uh, progresses, because of how many pocket factory turrets we are spawning. So I think we are just going to have the damage to clear these guys out. Assuming that I don't walk into a million enemies and die. But this one's about to die. And with 27 seconds left, we managed to pick it up and get the Dusty Fedora. Plus one luck when picking up a consumable while at maximum health. Alright, well that is an insane item. Um, that's an interesting design. I kind of like that one. Increased map size so it makes it harder to trigger. But if you pick up a consumable while at max health, you get bonus luck. Obviously for characters like the the explorer this would be a ridiculous item but um dusty fedora is a, is a cool item i think probably too powerful for the item design which is is uh, a feature of the gmo modded items in general is i think they're a little too strong but very cool and you don't play this mod because you aren't interested in wild and crazy things happening i think this mod is intended to make insane game situations and it does that very well 100 regeneration with a medical kit, so we are gaining even more regeneration over the course of the wave. We have 60 dodge, only 6 armor, which is interesting. I, I find my builds usually end up with much more armor, but we ended with 57 engineering. Overcame our percent damage penalty to reach 65 damage. Had potentially the most items I've ever had on any character, just like in total, because of how many crates we got, as well as a truly absurd amount of damage across the map. Just checking some of our economy items, um, we ended up with 7,000 damage from the rip and tears, so they weren't that valuable overall. Uh, only 300 damage from the spicy sauces, so they weren't that good either, but still worth it. Saved 200 materials from the dangerous bunny, so as always, that is excellent. But the real winner here is going to be the bags, which gave us 3,225 materials, which obviously is nonsense. Baby elephants dealt 26,000 damage, cyberballs as well dealt 55,000 damage, and scared sausages did 50,000 damage. So yeah, all of those things did a ton of work for us and really made this build come online. The amount of wave clear and luck that we had was absurd. This was a fun one. And obviously we were never in too much danger of losing, but sometimes it's nice to just play a run that just goes bananas. All right, my friends, hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, of course, if you have, feel free to leave a comment and like the video. And you can subscribe to my channel for more Brotato and other strategy game analysis. Cheers, folks. I'll catch you next time.